Hey, you guys, welcome to Unlimited Spirituality. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I am just on randomly. I wasn't expecting to be on with you guys today. Um, I have that soul session going on tonight, but I just wanted to hop on. I'm going to do a random chit chat with you guys, as well as um, depending on how many people hop on, I might do a Q&A as well. Just like I said, depends on how many people actually hop on today. So we'll do a chit chat, a Q&A, and then I'm also going to do a random pool. OK, so I'm going to give it just a few more minutes here. I'm going to take the time to say thank you, guys. I just want at least a few more people to hop on if that is going to be the case, because I do have the giveaway items here that I want to show you guys. OK, um, I just want to say thank you guys to just thank you to everyone who has helped get me to 2000 subscribers. You guys, I got on this platform saying that it's not about the numbers because it's really not about the numbers. For me, it's about the healing. And so for the fact that you guys have joined my collective and completely accepted me for who I am, especially as harsh as I give the messages out, etc., you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, um, I am going to post this video just as a regular video. I'm going to go ahead and y'all got to give me one second because your girl is hot. Okay. Um, since I am going to post this video, I am just going to go ahead and get right into it, y'all, because I am still trying to prepare for tonight's healing session. Okay. So, yes, thank you so much for you guys getting me to 2,000 subscribers. Let's go ahead and get into your giveaway items. Okay. So, um, the first item that I want to speak on is for tonight. If you guys are interested in joining either tonight's healing soul session or next week's healing soul session for free, then email me, okay? Um, so that's the first giveaway. The second one is a 30-minute free reading. So if you're interested in that, email me. The third is an hour free reading. If you're interested, email me. Um, and then I'm also going to give away these architect cards. Okay, now this is my box. You guys will get a brand new box. For those of you who are avid viewers of my channel, you know, this card, uh, this box right here is messages from spirit, okay? So... Um, the cards that we all love to hate that have the shadow attributes, you guys could request to win this box right here. Um, the positive thing about having this box on your own is you'll be able to pull at least one Oracle card a day and see what you need to work on. You know, your own lessons, whether it comes out in the upright or the reverse here. OK, so most certainly this is the next giveaway. OK. And last but not least, I am giving away this Sage bundle, okay? This Paleo Santos, this Sage bundle here, okay? So if these items are something that you guys are wanting to try and go for, email me at unlimitedspirituality um, at gmail.com, okay? Hey, good afternoon, Queen Mommy. Okay, so let me just quickly go over the items really quick, okay? So the first item here is the Oracle cards, okay? This is the same deck that we use in Messages from Spirit. That's the first giveaway item. The second giveaway item is this sage bundle with the Paleo Santo sticks, okay? Now, the third one is a one-hour free reading, if that's something you're interested in. The next one is a 30-minute free reading, if that's something that you're interested in. And last but not least, you could either um, choose today's date for the Healing Soul Session or next week's date for the Healing Soul Session, okay? So if you're interested in any of these giveaway items, then email me at unlimitedspirituality at gmail.com, and I will give you guys until, I believe I said until Tuesday. I'm going to give you guys until Tuesday to email me which items that you guys would like to uh, try and request for. And then on Wednesday, I will make the announcement over on the community board. And depending on who emails me, if you guys don't get back to me with the community board thing, I'll just email you directly, okay? All right, you guys. Once again, thank you so much for the 2,000 subscribers. You guys are fucking amazing. Y'all know I love my collective so much. Once again, it's not about the numbers. It's not about the likes, the comments, the subscribes, none of that bullshit. It's about the healing. It's about the growth. So thank you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and get into a random pool. I do just want to remind you guys, once again, tonight is the Healing Soul Session. If this is something that you guys are not wanting to request for for the free giveaway, if this is something that you guys would like to participate in, then most certainly email me or excuse me, go to unlimitedspirituality.com to register. Okay. So now the world card just fell out of my, out of my deck here. As we get into this random pool, the world card just fell out of my deck. So something is getting ready to end for some of you guys. And also just heard travel. Some of you guys are getting ready to travel somewhere. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. We're not going to be on here for long. Let's just do like a little 
30 minute reading and then depending on how many of you guys are on here we might do a little free q a as well you guys i'm just so thankful for the 2000 subscribers okay spirit what does my collective need to know today okay wow we've got the ace of wands in reverse fire energy Aquarius, uh, excuse me, I almost said Aquarius. Some of you guys could be dealing with one, okay? Um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Wow, with the Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini energy here, okay? Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, with the Five of Cups, okay? So something is coming to the surface for some of you guys, okay? Whether this be about your job, a romantic situation, a family situation, whatever this is to you. For somebody out there, something is getting ready to boil up to the surface. Like I said, we did have the world card okay so i'm not sure what this whole deal is but we do have the eight of cups to the queen of pentacles to the empress to the high priestess here so this could be three different people or at least two different people here but most certainly someone is walking away and they have a choice to make between two people or hell this might be one fucking bomb ass person here that somebody is walking away to but regardless of we do have a, a little bit of a scandal that's getting ready to take off so let's go ahead and clarify this energy Spirit, what does my collective need to know about this Ace of Wands in the reverse? Okay, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. So someone here could have been having an affair at their job. For others of you, the Ace of Wands in reverse to the Eight of Pentacles means you feel like you're having some delays within your workspace. And if that's the case for you, then some of you guys need to know that it's because you're being thrown under the bus. It's it's a coworker, a manager, whomever this is at your workspace that could possibly be... Um, it doing something behind your back, real spiteful, malicious behind your back so that you don't get that that higher level of income, that you don't get that new position here, okay? With the three of cups in reverse, most certainly either your co-workers or if this is a romantic situation, there's a third party involved in your relationship. The seven of swords twice, this could be in someone's workspace, okay? All right, you guys, so... We have here the Nine of Wands in reverse that just tried to pop out. Most certainly, somebody could be dealing with a fire sign. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords in reverse for my collective, please. The Page of Wands. Okay, so someone here was having a passionless, uh, I was about to say a passionless, but a passionate affair with someone here. Okay, for others of you, someone was doing something behind your back so that you would not get this brand new opportunity that was made for you. Okay, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse to the Hierophant. Someone here made a bad decision, a bad choice to do so. Whatever this is, we've got the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. But this shit here is about to stop. Okay, the truth is about to come out. Something's about to come to a complete halt quick. Okay, because the truth is about to come out about whatever this is for you guys. Okay, tell me more about the Ten of Swords for my collective, please. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands. Communication is coming. Somebody here stabbed you in your back. The Ten of Swords comes off like a bit of a shock, but it's also the ending of um, it's also the ending of a rough period. Okay, the Ten of Swords. Once you see that card come out, at least you know the rough time is over. But at the same time, you guys are getting ready to get communication about how somebody drove all ten of those swords in your back. Okay, um, the King of Swords is at the bottom with the Four of Swords. Maybe this is the person that's getting ready to communicate. Um, Aquarius Capricorn energy here. We know the King of Swords is communication. Okay. Hey, Denise, with the Four of Swords here, the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, either this person here is trying to um, play mind games with you um, and it's exhausting them um, because this person, whoever was playing mind games with you and they became exhausted, it's because something is backfiring on someone here. Okay. It's almost causing a, a, something like a destruction in someone else's face. Someone was trying to rub something in your face and that shit is blowing up on them. Yeah. See, someone's having a hard time sleeping. That's depression, anxiety here. That's what happens when you try and fuck around. Something more about the five of cups. Okay. We've got the death card. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. So something is coming to an end. Okay. Definitely the five of cups of the death card. Some of you guys are dealing with an actual loss here. The morning of a loss um, of a life here. And if that's you, my apologies and my condolences to your loss. Okay. Hey, Jade. Oh, hey, Shanicia. Hey, you guys. Okay, we'll get back into those giveaway items in just a second, just to kind of refresh you guys on what we've missed, okay? But yeah, with the death card to the five of cups, most certainly we do have either a, a death um, of someone's life or most certainly, like I said, with that world card, we got the ending of a situation here. We got the five of cups once again with the devil card, okay? Because somebody's bullshit is backfiring on them, okay? With the devil card in the five of cups, it's like somebody here knows where they fucked up, okay? Because tower card, bottom of the deck, that shit is blowing up on your face, no problem. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify what this high priestess, this empress, this queen of pentacles, and this eight of cups is talking about. What is this about here, spirit? What's this combination down here for my collective? 
somebody is very, very talented, very gifted, okay? For the high priestess, the empress, and the queen of pentacles, not only is somebody gifted here, but somebody here is successful, whether it be your financial success or just knowing what true happiness is. Like, this is beautiful energy here, okay? We've got the sun card and we've got the four of cups in the reverse with the eight of cups here. Hmm. So somebody here wants to reconcile with you. For a lot of you guys, this could be a um, an Aquarius, okay? Let me see. Spirit, tell me more about the uh, Four of Cups in reverse. Who's trying to make the offer? The Lover's card could be Gemini, okay? Most well, certainly somebody is trying to come back. It's like somebody here is seeing your worth after the fact. That's what I'm picking up on, okay? Hey, still cat. Um, with the Three of Swords in the reverse, Libra energy, the Five of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy here, okay? That is the eight of swords in reverse. It's like somebody here is tired of going around in circles about what they feel like they should do in terms of your connection with them. This person here could have been connected to somebody else, but then some truth about that situation is getting ready to come out. For some of you guys, this person here connected with this other person and they, they decided to rub it in your face or tried to make you feel less than worthy or whatever the case, all of that shit blew back in their face. And now because of that, they're starting to see your worth. And now this is the person, some card that feels like completes you, or this is the person here that feels like you would be the solution to their problems. With the four of cups in reverse to the lover's card, this person wants to come in with an offer here and not just a regular offer. The lover's card is a contract. Somebody here wants a commitment, okay? With the five of swords in reverse, with the three of swords in reverse, yeah, this is somebody wanting to find a solution after the period of healing here, okay? So let's see what else we have. Yeah, see, somebody here invested into someone who they thought, I'm hearing that they thought were you. So just switch the energies, whether this is masculine or feminine energy. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Empress in reverse, and we've got the Empress in the upright on the board. So two different ind individuals, two different energies being emitted out here, okay? All right, let's see. Someone have to find out quickly that the grass was not greener on the other side, okay? I'm hearing, uh, y'all know that song, someone was told me the grass was greener. On the other side. I think that's as told by Ginger, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yvonne. We have expectation. What else is going on? For those of you, my 90s babies. We have poverty. Okay. Also have the sacral chakra playing in my background. So some of you guys could stand to really work on your sacral chakra. If I'm not mistaken, my Aquarius reading, my Aquarius love reading for this week had a lot to do with the uh, sacral chakra. So maybe some of you guys need to check into that. Yes, as told by Ginger. And yes, thank you, Queen Mommy. Okay, give me two more. Thank you. We have here bad health and we have courtship. Okay, yeah, see somebody here had to find out that the grass was not greener on the other side. Just as simple as that here. Now somebody wants to come in and make this offer to you, okay? Now at the bottom of the deck, we have unexpected income and official person. So the person that this person here or that your person, whoever this is to you, wanted to make it official with, that's coming to an end. For some of you, this is a work situation. Somebody gave your opportunity to somebody who they thought was gonna be better suited. But what I'm picking up on is, if that's the case for some of you guys, um, there was some sort of uh, flirtation. There was some sort of impetuous actions going on with that job situation to which that blew back in your boss's face. And now they wish they would have chose or selected you for this position because you are better suited. OK, for others of you guys, this is a romantic situation where the grass was not greener on the other side, like I keep on saying here. OK, we have here expectation to poverty because somebody knows with a 10 on top of that card, somebody knows by walking away from something here, something new is going to um someone is hoping that something new is going to uh, come about, okay? We do have 1010 sitting next side by side here. So one thing ending so something else can begin. With imprisonment card, bad health, and courtship, somebody here is tired of feeling trapped and stuck in a connection that they don't feel happy in. So someone here is getting ready to make that great move. Hey, Joy. Okay. I know that's right. Stay grounded like hell, y'all. I swear to God. <laughs> Sometimes the energy that we are operating in is not the energy that you want to play around with, okay? While we do have this break, thank you, Lori. While we do have this break, because I am going to pull a few more cards here because I wanted to do like a complete 30-minute reading. And since I have a good bit of you guys, I'm going to stay on for about 40, 45 minutes extra after I finish this reading and do you guys uh, some free questions, a free Q&A, okay? With that being said, you guys, um, I will announce before the Q&A again, but... As we have this break, here's what your giveaway items are. If you would like to participate in the 2000 subscriber giveaway, email me at unlimitedspirituality at gmail.com, okay? Your first giveaway item is this Oracle deck, okay? For all of you guys who have watched my channel 
um, especially on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. This is the Oracle deck that we use for messages from spirit that has the light attributes and the shadow attributes. OK, so this is the first option. Um, this is a really good Oracle deck if you're trying to work on your own shadow work, your own healing, because every day you could pull a card, even if you don't know how to pull a card, you just you know, shuffle your cards the best way you know how and pick the first card that you're being led to, okay? That is the card that's going to help you through your healing, okay? So every day you guys could pull a card. Um, that's the first giveaway. The second giveaway here is this Sage Paleo Sanctos bundle that I have, okay? The extra large white sage here with the red sage and the two Paleo, paleo Santo uh, uh, sticks, okay? That's the second giveaway. The third giveaway is a 30-minute reading, the fourth giveaway is a one hour reading. And last but not least, you can either choose to come to tonight's Healing of the Soul session or next week's Healing of the Soul session. OK, so with those options, go ahead and email me unlimited spirituality at gmail.com, which one you guys would like to um, try to get. OK, so let's go ahead and keep moving within your reading. Okay. Spirit, what else does my collective need to know? We have Dark Moon in the reverse. We have somebody here who wants to make a decision to move forward, but somebody is really hesitant on doing that. Somebody is afraid of the unknown here. OK, some of you guys are wondering, OK, should I walk away from this job or should I stay at this job is what I'm picking up on. Or that's what someone could have just thought as well. Hey, um, some of you guys need to learn to listen to your intuition. OK, because your intuition is telling you exactly what you should do. If you walk into your place of employment or even if you log on, some of you guys work from home. Hey, Paulette, if you guys um, work from home or whatever it is, and the moment you enter that place of work, your stomach starts turning all fucking crazy. You just start feeling sick to the stomach. That's your intuition telling you to walk away from that job. But here's the thing. It, it's not just about you walking away. It's also you meditating and contemplating with your spirit guides or just praying over, OK, well, now that I'm walking away, what should I do next? What plan? What practical plan do I need to put in place in order for me to have that next uh, income lined up or for me to have that next whatever opportunity lined up? You don't just walk away with no plan. OK, but I'm getting a strong uh, sense that a lot of you guys need to follow your intuition because this is not going to be the job for you. OK, for others of you guys, this is a romantic situation and your intuition has been trying to tell you what you have been refusing to see with that dark moon in reverse it's only because some of you guys have been afraid of the darkness afraid of the unknown okay we have that rebirth card coming out because as soon as you guys release that energy of fear um we have a full moon coming up pretty soon here uh for those of you who knows the date go ahead and drop the date in the chat but we do have a full moon coming up pretty soon. During that time, a lot of you guys need to get out in that energy and practice a, a full moon ritual of just releasing, okay? This is not any type of fucking witchy shit, none of that. This is just simply you getting up under the full moon, spend some time outside. That's all this is. And just talking to whoever you believe in, okay? Uh, God, the universe, the moon, your spirit guides, whoever that is for you, and simply saying, you know what, Lord, just release this person from my life. You can say people by name. You can say people by energy. Whatever the case, people, place, and things release all of that fear. Okay, thank you, Yvonne. May 28th. Yes, that is actually a full moon in Sagittarius, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so take this energy, you guys. Tap in. Okay, a Sagittarian energy. Um, you guys should be able to tap into past lives, be able to tap into your Akashic records. I always say this on this channel, uh, tapping into who you were before in the past is the clearest pathway to who you are and who you're going to be in your future okay we'll see with that healer in the reverse this is the energy of having people in your space blocking that forward progress here okay some of you guys i'm hearing you need to work on your choices you need to work on your decisions okay all right let's get some more cards out here y'all i also have some amazing um cards i have about three decks coming within this next week. Um, and I'm going to change the way I'm doing the channel, okay? Because I'm going to do some Friday night readings. Some uh, probably going to start at about 8.30 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So some late Friday night readings. Uh, but they'll be with my messy cards is what I'm calling them, okay? Like for those of you who be wanting to know the tea and not just get the spiritual lessons, like y'all know my channel is known for, okay? All right, so the cards that I just pulled here, we have regret and we have children. Someone is regretting something. That's that energy of not wanting to move forward because you don't know what's on the other side. For others of you guys, you have a boss regretting not choosing you. For others of you guys, the regret is coming from um, someone who feels like they effed up and didn't choose you to be in a commitment with. Somebody actually effed up in their relationship. Somebody here could have gotten pregnant by somebody else as well. That just kind of came to me out of nowhere. 
Hey, Anna Marie, thank you so much. Yeah, um, someone here is actually is also very childish as well. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's real childish. Either that's your coworkers or your boss or that's the person you're dating. But with that spiritual lesson, this is the most important thing about this entire situation. Ooh, Yvonne, I can't wait either. I can't wait for these cards to come, okay? You guys need to have patience because as you're making your way through the darkness that you're trying to avoid, you have something forming. You have something um, coming together through this period of rebirth. Okay, something positive is coming together through this period of rebirth. For a lot of you guys, you're gaining up the courage to make this offer to this person that you want to have commitment with. Um, for everybody else in terms of career, you guys are getting ready to get a new contract here. Okay, you just have to have a little bit of patience and push through the darkness, push through what you don't want to see, what you don't want to face. Okay, go through this period of awakening so you can go through that period of transition. Okay, and then after that, you have a decision to make. Do you want to go back? Do you want to live in your south node or do you want to keep on pushing forward into your north node, into your destiny? Because trust me, y'all, it's time. Nobody has any more time for the BS nowadays. Okay, I know you guys, well, you don't have to pay attention to the world news. Okay, but most certainly, if you're paying attention to pop culture, world news, or shit, just the shit in your day-to-day -day timeline on your social media, you'll see that shit is changing around you, okay? If, you, if you're really paying attention, you'll notice that shit is, paying, uh, shit is changing around you, okay? That is because everybody is being forced to live in their path. And if you're not, a rude awakening is waiting for a lot of people, okay? All right, it's very. What else does my collective need to know? Someone is stubborn is what I just heard. Someone is stubborn. Somebody is like fiending. I'm hearing that song by Jodeci. It's called Fiending. I can't leave you alone. You got me fiending. That song right there. Somebody's like fiending for another person. Okay. It's it's crazy. Um, the energy that I just felt there. So maybe whoever just joined the live or something, child. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yes. Scared to go backwards, child. Me too. I ain't got time to go back. Mm -mm. Okay. So, yes, right here. This is exactly what we were speaking about earlier on this live. Your dreams need a practical plan. You guys have to practically put a plan together. If you're walking away from a commitment that you know you were paying half the rent and all this other type of bullshit, now you got to figure out how to survive on your own. If you're walking away from a job that you know you don't need to, need to be at anymore, but you know this is, you know, this is your only source of income, put a plan together first. Set your intentions positively so you'll have something to fall back on, okay? Um, Neither the less, all of the fear, it needs to be surrendered. Surrender to the divine is equivalent to let go and let God, okay? With you and your loved ones are safe. For those of you who are sticking in a situation because you're worried about your children's sake. For those of you who are staying in a situation that you know is no longer serving because, well, hell, I don't have a job to go back to. Whatever the case, this is why a practical plan is important. But it's to release the fear. You and your loved ones are safe. It's to release the fear. It's to release that worry, okay? This is a time for healing period. You have to know that you are good enough. Okay. The answers that you need are coming for some of you guys. The answers that are coming for you is this new job offer for others of you guys. You have a relationship that's getting ready to build up a, a, an offer of commitment. That's getting ready to head your way, or you're going to be the one that's making this offer of commitment. But first, look what we have here back to back. It's time to release negativity. It's time to release. Okay. What do you need to release? Okay. All right, y'all, let's pull the last Oracle card and then we'll stay on here for a little while and let y'all get some free questions out, okay? A little free q and I can't be on here for long, y'all, because um, I do. I am doing that soul session tonight and I have been preparing for that for those of you who have joined that, okay? Spirit, give me two more. Okay, we didn't just get two more, y'all, okay? All right, you guys. Top of the deck says, fuck out of here. Okay, y'all, I love this damn deck, y'all. Okay? <clears throat> this is your mantra today. Say it in a New Jersey accent to add emphasis. If bullshit, y'all wish I knew what that sounded like. I don't know what a New Jersey accent sounds like. Okay? If bullshit shows up, give it a fuck out of here and send it on its way. This should probably be a silent mantra at work, in school, and pretty much anywhere in public. But it's still highly fucking effective, even when you keep it all to yourself. Okay, so some of you guys need that today. Okay, fuck out of here. Now, I know I say that pretty often. Okay. Bottom of the deck, it says, you are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm, period. 
You know how you can tell if someone is taking advantage of you? You feel like shit after giving to them. That shit isn't healthy for anyone. Put the matches down and back away. They can get warm on their own. Now go do something kind for yourself. That's a better service to the world anyways. Okay. So let's read the ones you pull. It says, call bullshit on your bullshit. Want to get out of a rut? The first step is to get tired of the bullshit. Your bullshit, their bullshit, the world's bullshit. Spend today honing your sense of deja vu. Once you can spot the old shit, you can start to stop that old shit. Okay? Rise above your fuckheadedness. We're all fuckheads in our own way. The trick is to winning at life is developing the ability to identify our own flavor of fuckheadedness and then rise above it. What one little thing can do different-ish and better-ish today? You beautiful fuckhead, you. Okay, so what can you do something different, okay? We have here meditation, a.k.a. shutting the fuck up for a few minutes. Lots of people say they don't know how to meditate. You are no longer allowed to be one of them. Shut up for a few minutes, see what happens. Yep, that's what the Buddha did. Then do it some more, okay? <laughs> We have look at the fucking moon. Okay, I was just talking about you guys. Some of you guys really needing to get out there and do that full moon ritual, okay? Just look at that thing. It's lovely as fuck, right? You're welcome. Some of you guys have to face those fears. Some of you guys have to actually express how you're feeling to another person, okay? Express yourself in general. If you're not happy at your job, if you don't like the way shit is running, say that shit, okay? The, next, the last card we have here is you can't have a positive as fuck life with a negative as fuck mind. If you find yourself with a head full of crap, go watch some videos of babies laughing or goats excite, excitement fainting or old people cursing. It's a help. It's helpful to think of laughing as a mental pooper scooper. You got to get the turds out so you have some room for fresh and lovely thoughts. OK. All right, you guys. So I just want to give you guys a quick reading of the day. Um, I'm going to stay on a little bit longer for those of you, for the few of you who wants to ask some free questions. Um, I did see one question, Jade, I will get to you first, okay? Um, for all of you guys that are on here, once again, I just wanna say thank you so much for getting me to 2000 subscribers, you guys. I have been saying this from the, from the day I started my channel, it's not about how many people subscribe, it's not about how many people like the videos, view the videos or anything like that. For me, the reason why I do free questions and a whole bunch of free readings, y'all don't even know how many free readings I give daily. Uh, but to book me, go to unlimitedspirituality.com um, because it's for me, it's not about the money. It's about the healing portion of it. OK, that's what this channel is based off of healing, not just drama, not just none of the bullshit. OK, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, shared, subscribed, who has followed me on Facebook, Unlimited Spirituality, who has followed me on Instagram, Unlimited Spirituality underscore underscore, and who has participated in everything that I've done with this channel you guys are absolutely amazing, okay? Um, with that being said, you guys, just to go over the giveaways one more time, and then we're going to go ahead and get into some questions, and I'm going to let you guys go. The giveaway consists of this architect deck, okay? Um, this is the same deck that we use for messages from spirit, okay, where we have the light attributes and the negative attributes on there, okay? Okay. Um, a good source of uh, a good source to use on the day-to-day -day basis if you are trying to work on your shadow work. Um, and then we have here the Sage and Paleo Santos bundle, a bundle, okay, <laughs> that I'm giving away as well. Okay, and then the next ones we have a 30 minute free reading, a one hour free reading. Um, and then tonight is the healing of the soul session that I'm putting on. So if you would like to participate in tonight or next Sundays, then email me that. Okay. So with all those options, you just have to email me which one you are wanting to go for. Um, and then on Wednesday, I will announce the winner. So Tuesday will be the last day to email me for which giveaway you would like to get. Okay. With that being said, you guys, um, let's go ahead and get into some questions. Okay. I did just answer an email earlier, so I'm clearing my board. Let me say this. I did just answer an email earlier asking someone asking me uh, about more details about this healing soul session. And it's it's a, it's going to be a very beautiful session, you guys, a very intimate group setting um, where I'm going to create a safe space for everybody to be able to speak um, whatever it is that they feel like they need to speak to to get towards their healing. I'm going to be using my gifts and mediumship. I am a medium for those of you who doesn't know for those of you who doesn't know what mediumship is i do communicate between the living and the dead of a few of you guys have actually gotten mediumship readings from me where i have 
communicated with you guys uh, with your past over family members. Okay. So mediumship, healing, energy reading, as well as tarot reading and whatever um, other gift, because I'm also um, a high priestess. So the past, present and the future is something that I'm gifted in as well. So for all of those gifts, whatever it is that I can do for you guys in terms of a healing space, that's what we're going to be working on tonight. OK, as well as next week and the week after. OK, all three are going to be uh, themed differently. But tonight is most certainly um, about how you've abandoned yourself. OK. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the questions. Let me go ahead and answer the first question that we have here, which I only see one. So for those of you who are just wanting to hang out with your girl, hey, OK, um, Jade, let's go ahead and get into your question. OK. Let's see here. Can I know my future career in the next two months? Well, I can give you a roundabout of what that career is going to be. Um, Jade in the next two months. Okay. Now I'm hearing something about it. Now thief just popped out. Okay. So now either you're acting in this energy or you have this energy surrounding your space. Now, when these type of cards come out in terms of finances and career, it's a clear warning, a clear indication that if you don't remove this energy either from your own space or from, you know, your outer space, the person that's around you in this energy here, um, it's going to prevent you from getting to that level of success. OK, that thief card represents someone who's lying, a cheater, someone who steals your time, your energy, your money. So something like a succubus, a vampire energy, someone who um, wants to ride on the back of your coattail even. OK. All right. What else is going on in career space spirit? Yeah, bad health. We have somebody that's stressing out about something here. OK, stressing out about a child, baby. OK, what is this in your space, boo? Who is this for? Jade? Jane, I'm sorry, baby. I have no idea what's in your space, but it's not coming out as career. OK, here's what we have. Child, false person, marriage. We have secrets. OK, so you have to place yourself where the energies fit. But in terms of career, career can't come out until especially not a new chapter. When you're requesting for a new chapter to come in your life, y'all know I'm about the healing. OK, um, not just a quick job, a fly by way job or income, whatever the case. When you're requesting a career to come about in your space, the only way to reach that pinnacle of success is by clearing what you have in your space. You have to cleanse the negativity from your energy here. Let me see if I can pull you some different cards in terms of your career. What does Jay even know about a career space there? Y'all not mix up my cards. It's cool. What does Jay even know about our career space? Teacher, did I not just say that? I swear, I don't know if I said that in my head or out loud, but bam, baby, teacher. Okay, so in order for this, you know, a teacher doesn't just have to be a school teacher. You can be a teacher of any kind. Okay, a lecturer, a teacher. Um, oh, what is the what am I trying to look for? You can be a support system for kids, a counselor, anything like that. Okay, so most certainly, in order for you to seek what it is that you're trying to seek, get the answers on whatever it is that you're trying to seek. Okay, you have to clear all of this shit out of your space, and that is what's going to come towards you. Okay, this type of a position is what you're meant to be doing. Okay. Beautiful. But look, look what you have here twice. Look what you have here twice. Thief. Okay, Jade, you got to get this thing cleared up, baby. You just have to. Okay. All right. Dang, that teacher thing just kind of blew my mind away because I wasn't expecting these cards, but I think I said teacher out loud. All right. Let's see here. Hopefully that helped you, Jane. Let's see what else we got here. <sighs> oh, thank you, Yvonne. Yes. Okay. Listen, I'm going to get a shirt that says exposed because I have friends that tell me, boy, that's all I do is expose shit. Hey, Brittany. Lori, you said I am single, a Scorpio. What energy do you see coming towards me in romance? Thank you so much, Brittany. Okay, you said you want to know what's coming towards you in romance, girl. Okay. All right, Lori, let's see here. For those of you who are unaware, I am doing free questions. I did do a quick reading a little earlier. I think I did about a 20 minute reading, okay? But I am doing free questions for the next few. 
okay, as I am still preparing for tonight's Healing of the Soul session, okay? Registration for that is still open. If you guys would like to join us, then definitely um, registration or go to www.unlimitedspirituality.com to register, okay? Now, I did just add that in as an option for the giveaway. So if you guys would like to participate in tonight's Healing of the Soul session or even next week's Healing of the Soul session, the first one to email me about that, I will go ahead and give that spot for tonight in, okay? All right, you guys. All right, Lori. Who's coming towards Lori? Oh, baby, Lori. Listen. <laughs> y'all know y'all's energy be getting me all hyped up. Look what we have here. Protected. Okay, you're being protected. You're being guided here. Yep. See, either somebody's about to take a leap of faith or you're about to be guided to take a leap of faith. Who am I doing? Lori. Indeed, Lori. I know with the wow. Okay, let's go ahead and put some tarot cards on top of it. Okay. Tell me more about this true love, this soulmate. Okay. For Lori. Okay, this could be a little air sign here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody who got their eyes on you. Okay, this is literally somebody who got their eyes on you, baby. Go on and post them cute pictures up on social media. Okay, or however they're watching. You said you can feel it. Mm, bam, baby. The solution to your problems is getting ready to come. Knocking on your front fucking door. Okay, the Six of Pentacles. This is somebody who's going to give you equal give and take here. OK, this is someone who's going to be very generous in your space. The sun card represents complete and utter happiness as well. Fulfillment. OK, this could be a Leo or an air sign or even hell, even an earth sign. OK, indeed. OK, and then look what we have here. The nine of cups because of your good decisions, good choices. OK, or whatever it is that you're deciding with your life here, you're getting your wishes fulfilled. Girl, just let me know how I go. All right. <laughs> Hopefully that helped you, Lori. Let's see. Who's next? Mm -mm. Hey, MG. Yvonne, I've walked away, but will I have to face him again here soon? Okay, you guys, you know we're in retrograde energy, okay? This is, we are still in that Pluto retrograde. And if I'm not mistaken, Mercury retrograde is getting ready to be upon us. If you're like me, I fucking hate, 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 hate Mercury retrograde, y'all. But if I'm not mistaken, let me look it up for you. Because retrograde energy is very important to note in terms of who's coming back from the past. Okay. So let's see here. All pins. Hold on, y'all. Let me look this up for you. Okay, I swear I pinned this. Yeah, I'm forever on Pinterest. Um, I've invited several people to my um, Pinterest boards before. I, if you guys are on Pinterest, I always pin um, amazing things in terms of healing, spirituality, all of that shit, okay? Lord, I thought I pinned this one thing, you know? Hold on, y'all. You said you do think it's next, Joss, you're the uh, Mercury retrograde? Retrograde calendar. Okay. Yeah. Yep, we do. Right after the full moon, the day after the full moon, we have Mercury retrograde. Y'all, I fucking hate Mercury retrograde. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So, yes, there's a possibility that this person is going to come back from the past, Yvonne. Is that you that was asking that? Yeah. Spirit, tell me more about this person here that Yvonne is going to have to face soon. Okay. We have the King of Swords. This could be an Aquarius Capricorn person with the Two of Swords in the reverse here. This person here could have had you up under some sort of confusion. We've got the King of Pentacles out here too. Aries, Taurus, Energy. You could have two people that's getting ready to approach your space. I also have a King of Cups here. Okay. Libra, Scorpio, Energy. Um, Yvonne, <laughs> you could tell me which one it is. Okay. Because most certainly you're going to have to face these individuals again. They're coming back into your space. Okay. Both of which could have double crossed you. Okay. Tell me about this King of Swords in terms of, uh, who am I doing? Yvonne's energy. Yeah. 
the seven of swords in the reverse. Okay. This person will certainly is sneaking away from you or sneaking away to you. Okay. A very sneaky person here. This one is, but with the world card, this is something that's most certainly probably going to come to an end as soon as uh, he reveals himself to you. Okay. The moon card in reverse with the seven of wands, you're going to need to reject this person here because they're not going to do nothing but cause delays to your happiness. Okay. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles in reverse for Yvonne's energy, please. We got the Queen of Cups in reverse and we got the Strength card. Resist this person. This person plays on your emotions. This is not the one. Okay. All right. There you go, Yvonne. Hopefully that helped you. Let me see. Oh, so we have here. Look, I have I have this. Um, my entire playlist of music is playing. That's thousands of songs, and the song that I have playing in the background is Twin Flame Miracles. Some of you guys, you have a Twin Flame that's getting ready to come back into your space. Okay, um, it's a manifestation, um, like thirty minute, whatever the fuck. Okay, some of you guys are getting ready to have that come into your space. Okay. All right. Who's next? Hey, Izzy. Uh, uh, hey, Asia. See, I remember. <laughs> hey, Asia. Okay. Thank you, Brittany. I don't know if I said thank you, but thank you. Hey, Jasiera. Thank you for popping in. Yeah. I can't wait for tonight. Yes, Brittany. I am so excited. I can't wait for tonight either. I'm so excited about tonight's healing soul session, you guys. That registration is still open. I know y'all gonna get tired of me talking about it, but it's still open and I'm so excited for um, anyone who wants to join us. Go to www.unlimitedspirituality.com to register. Anna Maria. Is Libra a karmic? Meant especially to learn lessons. Okay, let's see. All right, so is this Libra in Anna Maria's life a karmic? Oh, girl, wait a minute. <laughs> this right here is a soulmate. This is not a karmic. This is something that's fated to happen. A connection that is fated to happen. We have second chance and everything. Okay, look what we have here. Patience. Who am I doing? Anna Maria, we have patience because this person is going to bring about your abundance. It's going to move into marriage and this will be a new love of yours. Okay. It's just a way that your spirit guides are, this person is being sent in your life or is in your life to have so that you can have more fun. Okay. So that you can see the brighter things in life here. Okay. All right. Hopefully that helps you. All right. Snow cat. Can you ask spirit if I'm making the right move in regards to my house? All right. All right, spirit. Is Snow Cat making the best moves in regards to the house? Okay. Four of Wands in reverse. If this means, I don't know exactly what that means for you, but the Four of Wands in reverse means it's time for you to move out, sell the house, rent the house out, whatever the case. The Four of Wands in reverse is someone no longer living in that house. Okay. So whatever it is that you're doing in regards to what I just spoke to, if that's what you're doing, yes, you are making the right move here. Okay. If you're trying to stay in that house, rebuild the house, fix the house, the answer would be no. Okay. There's a secret here. I'm not sure if you're aware. If you live with someone, there's a secret that's getting ready to come out about that person. Okay, so cat, this person has stabbed you in your back. Ten of swords. Page of wands in reverse indicates bad news is getting ready to come out of that entire situation. Okay. All right, let's see here. MG. Hi. I'm dreading this, but will court case go in my children's favor? Okay, let's see here. Y'all, I got to go. There's these court cards that I, I want to get. We'll see. Spirit. 
how will this court case go for MG? Uh -oh. Let me put these back in. I don't like the way they, they were already flipped over. Hold on. All right, spare. Will this court case go in MG's children's favor? Okay, so what we have here, okay, if you, especially if you are this main female in this situation, what's happening behind the scenes is you getting the opportunity to have whatever it is that you're trying to request to have here. If you are not the main female, then that opportunity is going to the main female in this situation. Okay, that's what I have here. Okay, I'm hearing you got to stop. Who am I doing? MG. I'm hearing you have to stop worrying. My anxiety is getting ready to get stirred up, which tells me you're having too much anxiety about this situation. You got to clear your mind space of whatever this is, because it's almost like causing me, uh, what is that? Like a tension headache. This entire situation is giving me, and I've only been in your energy for a split second here. I'm being told you have to learn how to breathe. I've been binge watching um, a different world lately. I'm literally hearing relax, relate, release. For those of you who are familiar with that show, it's exactly, it's, I mean, it's the best advice though. That's exactly what we have here. You have to relax, relate, and release in this situation, okay? No problem, Lori. Asia, what is my Aquarius hiding from me and what will manifest from it? Asia, oh my gosh. Asia, I don't know if you're familiar with Gibeon. Um, but I, I know it's it's crazy because I didn't I couldn't recognize the intro to the song that was coming up next. Um, but this is the first name that I thought of, Gibeon. You could probably stand to listen to some Gibeon music, okay? That is G-I-B-E-O-N. There's an accent over the E, but Gibeon is his name, okay? Spirit, what is this Aquarius hiding from Asia's energy? What is this Aquarius hiding from Asia's energy spirit? This person is being very childish. That's for one thing. Uh, somebody here. Yes, Gibeon is that. She love Gibeon, y'all. All right, what, is, what else does Asia need to know? That this Aquarius is hiding. Okay. Yeah, so most certainly, um, Asia, this person here has somebody on the side. This is a third party situation here. Okay. There's a possible child as well. Okay. There's a possible energy of a child here. But most certainly, Page of Cups in the reverse, this could either be an unwanted child or someone being very, very uh, childish. And with the Five of Wands here, this person has placed you in competition with other people, causing conflict, causing arguments and, and strife here, okay? Even feeling like this person could have been comp uh, um, competing against you. With the Five of Cups, this person here, two fives sitting back to back, knows that because of their wrongdoings, they've been the one to cause the conflict and the challenge within your connection here. The Five of Cups indicates sadness, bereavement. It's almost like this person is mourning the loss of you before you walked away from this connection here, okay? We do have passion, children, and second chance. This person does want a second chance with you because this person does recognize where they've gone wrong in this situation, okay? But there's a possibility that this person here created a child with someone else, okay? Let me clarify that child card for you. Tell me more about this children card. Children. Look, children came right back out in clarification, but we also have separation, okay? Time apart from your partner is on the horizons, okay? This person here is getting ready to reach out and have to have a conversation with you, especially if there is a child involved, okay? I'm so sorry to even have to relay that news to you. Okay. If you guys are married, you might be the one that's getting ready to file papers here, okay? But most certainly, I see this um, resulting into a divorce or a separation. All right, I hope that helps you, Asia. 
that's the song right there, Stuck on You, okay? It's like, this is the person that you love or this is the person that you have an immense amount of love for, but it's like, you can't even, you can't even be in this situation. It's somebody is tired of being embarrassed, whether that's you, Asia, or there's a person, but somebody's tired of being embarrassed, okay? All right. Oh, thank you so much, Norris. Yes, Brittany, I love his music. No problem, Asia. Okay, where were we here? Let's go back up. Yes, thank you, Jasiera. That damn, we are still in Pluto retrograde and we're getting ready to go into Mercury retrograde. Um, what is it, in Capricorn, I believe? Something. But on May 29th, yes, you guys. So if you start noticing your electronics start freaking out or messing up, don't be ready to throw your phone out the window, okay? It's just simply that Mercury retrograde energy. If you start stuttering, slurring, fucking up your words a lot, Mercury retrograde energy. People start coming back from the past, retrograde energy. Um, situations that you thought you walked away from or buried, retrograde energy, okay? All that shit. I, I I am just not a fan of re retrograde energy, y'all. Can't even lie. All right. Beverly Clark, you are next. Will my trip to Arizona come to fruition during my birthday week in June? Mm, turn up for me now. Okay, let's see. Spirit, tell me about this. Uh birthday week for Beverly in June is something that's going to be able to happen. Oh, oh, girl, yes. This is something that's going to be successful. Because of your hard work, you're going to be rewarded here. Okay? You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be a Virgo. But most certainly, because of your hard work, you're going to be rewarded here. Okay? Ooh. This might come with a blow, though. Who am I doing? Beverly. If you're in a connection with someone, this might come with a little bit of a blow, a blow, but you are going to be able to have this week because uh, you need it is what I just heard. OK, but if you are in a connection, you're going to find out something about the person you are in a connection with. Girl, MG, me too. That damn um, a different world is my show, you guys. That damn Dwayne Whitley, I swear to God, when he busted them doors, like, baby, please. I was like, oh, Lord, it takes me every time, y'all. Not busting them doors, but you know what I'm saying, busting them people that was trying to hold them back. All right, let's go back up. Beverly, I, I hope that helps you. No problem, okay? Oh, my God. I wish I knew how to pronounce your, your first name, but... Maybe your last name is Russo's. You said, who's been giving me the evil eye doing black magic? Let's go ahead and get that figured out here. Okay. <laughs> Yvonne, your response is, <laughs> oh my God, y'all. <laughs> Please tell me who is doing black magic here. Yes, so you are you're spot on. Most certainly, someone here is doing magic towards you. Okay, you're spot the hell on. That's for one thing. Okay. Yes. Yeah, see, I'm hearing trust your intuition on this one. Most certainly. Oof. I just got uh. My body is affected by your energy, which tells me you need to cleanse your energy. You are being protected, but you got to cleanse your space here, okay? Because the magic that's in your space, it's being done while you're asleep. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some tarot cards and see if we can land on a zodiac sign in terms of who. Who has been giving this negative energy to? Look, we've got the three of pentacles. This could be someone that you either work with. The three of pentacles is tricky, okay? Because this is either someone that you work with. This is also the energy of a family member, but this is also the energy of a partner here. So this could be your partner, a family member, um, or a coworker. Tell me who else. Okay. So this could either be a Virgo or Pisces person here. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've got the three of swords here. Most certainly this could be somebody that broke 
your heart or someone who feels like you broke theirs, okay? Because the four pentacles, you feel like you were holding back on this person or you're holding back on this person because they are bad news here, okay? That's the person that's doing the negative shit your way. Could be a Taurus, could be a Virgo, could be a Pisces here. Because we do have the hangman. So the magic behind what they're doing is to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnant, not to have forward progress here. Because someone doesn't like the fact that you're either single or even if you're not single, which is the nine of pentacles, but because you're beautiful or and or because you're able to operate alone. You don't need anyone else's help. You're unencumbered. OK, so that's the why. And those are the pop. Those are the possible who's. Y'all, my dog be scaring the shit out of me sometimes. All right, but I hope that helped you. I wish I could pronounce her name. Hey, Septina. How have you been? All right, Jossiera. You guys, I'm so excited about, what did I say? I have like uh, four deck, three or four decks coming next week. These decks that I have coming, you guys, are going to change the structure of how I'm doing my readings because I'm going to be doing Friday night late readings. They're going to start at 830 because the cards that I'm getting are real messy. OK, so, of course, you know, if you watch any of my readings, they're usually like real lesson learned uh, lessons, um, spiritually type of readings. But the cards that I'm getting are real messy. And those are the ones I'm going to be doing for my night readings. Okay? I'm really excited about that. All right, Jasiera. What do the next couple days look like? Okay, y'all. I'm going to do this until about, I'll give it until about 2.30 and I'm going to hop off because I still have to prepare for tonight's healing of the soul session. If you are wanting to register for that, registration is going to be open for that healing of the soul session until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. All right, Spirit. What do the next couple days look like for Jasiera? Show me until Wednesday, Spirit. Show me from today until Wednesday. All right. Um, okay. I just realized what song I was sitting here humming. Let's move forward. <laughs> Let me tell you something about somebody who is in this energy. Y'all need to chill out. All right. All right. Okay. So we have here the Six of Swords. Jasiera, I asked for today until Wednesday. We've got the Six of Swords in the reverse. We've got the Death card and the Eight of Swords that popped out first. Okay. So a lot of air energy, you might be stuck in your mind or somebody in regards to you might be stuck in their mind. Okay. We also have Scorpion energy here. Um but whatever it is that you feel stuck in, whatever it feels like you, whatever it is that you feel trapped in or that you can't move forward in, that's going to come to an end. A shift is going to occur. We just spoke in uh, the last one on one that we had. We just spoke to you constantly going through those transformations, those rebirth period. You're getting ready to go through another one. You might have Scorpio highly aspected. And if you do, you have to expect that for the rest of your life. That is Scorpion energy. But that's also the blessing in your situation. Always being able to be reborn again. That's exactly what you have. So what you were stuck in, what you had going on that no longer served you, that's getting ready to come to a transformative uh, phase in your life. Okay, Because we do have the Eight of Swords. So you have to get out of your mind about whatever this is. Now, I'm hearing what it is. But of course, I'm not going to say it out on out loud on the chat so of course you already know because i'm not saying it out loud you should know exactly what i'm speaking about you have to stop thinking about that okay everybody has lessons that they have to learn it happened now you have to move forward here with the eight of swords you can you got to get out of your head about whatever this is that's running a circle you know the eight of swords is a self-imposed prison so from now until wednesday it is going to be your mission here to remove this negativity from your space as well as your mental space we have the five of cups in the reverse this is you meaning not to cry over spilled milk what was done is done what happened happened here okay so just because you have these three cups spilled over in front of you you still have two more cups in the background twos represent choices so you have a different choice a different decision to make in terms of which direction you're going to take your life you just have to free yourself from that sadness that period of loss that lackluster type of energy here with the three of wands because your ships are getting ready to come in but it's going to require you to look forward move forward okay all right, Jasiera, hopefully that helps you out for the next few days, okay? And then I asked until Wednesday, so of course we can we can check back on Wednesday. 
Okay, Snowcat, you said that's probably my sister. And yes, I'm moving out and selling the house. Thank you. No problem. Look at there. Spot on. Beautiful. Yes, I'm hip to Gibby on. Yes. Okay, um, Angel. He be singing to my soul. Well, I go, all right, I hear you. His little deep voice be rattling my bones. Okay, anyways. <laughs> what does that say? Jawas. Jawas? Oh, I wish I could pronounce your name. Okay, you're next. It says which uh, cryo cryptocurrency. Here we go. Which cryptocurrency should I invest in next? I have no idea. I wish I can answer that type of question for you, but shit, to be quite honest, like, I just, uh, this is not an industry that I, I mean, I have investments, but not in cryptocurrency. So I have no idea. Ask your question differently and I'll get to you, okay? You have to give me options. Like, if you got an A, B, or C, baby, throw them in there and I'll see which one is going to be the best for you to invest in. But I have no idea, okay? No problem, Asia. No problem, NG. Yes, y'all. I'm so happy y'all love that shit, too. That different world. Mm -mm -mm. It is a classic. Asia, please tell me who this Aries man is to me. Okay, let's see. Jawas. Jawas. Hopefully, I'm going to pronounce it right, man. These names. Okay, let's see here. Hold on, y'all done. Muck me up on my question. You said, Asia, please tell me who this Aries man is. Please tell me who this Aries man is to Asia. The moon card in reverse. Okay, someone who's about to be revealed as what? The five of pentacles in the reverse. Oh, child. Okay, you don't know who this a this Aries man is, but this man is coming back to you. Do you hear? There he is. Baby, listen, this is somebody that's coming in who wants to work. This could be a boss, somebody that's coming in uh, to, to offer you a contract or something. Or most certainly, this can be somebody that's got their eye on you, like... Um, I'm hearing, I can love you better. Y'all know, I wish I could sing, but boy, somebody might have their eye on you in terms of what they feel like they can do better than what somebody else can do, okay? Let's see. Um, let me see here. Spirit, tell me who this Aries person is to Asia. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Interference. What? Asia, who the hell is this? Somebody that wants to come in to apologize. You know who this person is. This is somebody that wants to come in to apologize, um, Asia. Tell me more about this Aries person, this emperor. Who is this emperor coming into Asia's space? Temperance card in reverse. To the page of wands. I don't recommend you giving this person what they're coming in to ask you for, though. It's like this person here, they might have their eyes on you, might even come in with the communication of wanting to commit to you. Uh, this is like a mutual party. This could be a friend of a friend here as well. Most certainly could be a boss, but this could be a friend of a friend. But whoever this is to you, they're coming in. They're going to leave you stagnant, though. It, it's like if you decide to accept what this person here is offering, Knight of Cups in reverse, they're only, they're only here for a one-night stand, Okay. Three of Cups for a good time. They're going to leave you stagnant here. Okay. It, this is what you're foretold here. Okay. And with the Knight of Wands, they're going to dip off on you right after. I would not trust this Aries person. I don't have a lot of clarity over who that is to you. Like real foggy. Okay. Let me just ask one more time. Spirit, show me who this Aries is to Asia. Might have sworn someone that's getting ready to rush in with communication. The seven of cups in reverse to the ten of cups in reverse. That's the three of cups in reverse. This is somebody that's getting ready to come in and tell you how somebody in your how your spouse is juggling you. Like this area is about to come in and blow the lid off of what the fuck is going on here. 
Knight of Swords, this person is rushing your way for the truth. Seven of Cups in the reverse so that you can see things clearly. Ten of Cups in reverse so that you can know the truth behind what your person is doing. Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, both in the reverse. Ease the Three of Cups in the reverse. Third party energy. The Two of Pentacles here, how you're being juggled. The Six of Wands in reverse, how this person that you're dealing with is getting ready to fall from grace. Okay, that's who I have as this Aries person is. Okay, the of course, we know the um, King of Pentacles is Aries Taurus energy. Okay. All right. I'm so sorry to have to, to relay that. Okay. Oh, I just was singing this damn song, Lose Myself So I Can Love You Better. Listen, Linda, I promise. This shit just came up like this was not the song that was playing. Okay. Y'all, my spirit guys be scaring the hell out of me sometimes. I'd be like, all right. Listen to that song, baby. Because I, I was not expecting that song to play. I have my entire playlist of music on 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 whatever the fuck uh shuffle. And that song just came right the hell up. Listen to that song. That might be for you, okay? Oh, God, hold on. You know how my spirit guys be. Let me read the lyric that they telling me to read. I used to do it for the love a long time ago, and all I ever wanted was love. I used to I used to love without fear a long time ago, and all I ever wanted was love. Then somebody came around and tried to hurt me, tried to make me feel like I was unworthy, took a pure love and tried to make it dirty. Trust was they never did deserve me. That might be a message for you, okay? All right, Asia. Hopefully that helped you, okay? Let me see here. Where are we at? <clears throat> A.H., you're next. What is Pisces' next move towards me? A.H. What is this Pisces next move towards AH spirit? Okay, if you're dating this person, this person here is getting ready to walk away from this connection. If this is a job situation for you, um, you're, this person is going to terminate a contract here. Okay, because somebody here is taking a look at what they're investing their time in. And they're trying to determine if it's worth it. And for them, it's not. With the chariot card in reverse, something has spun too far out of control. If somebody would just prefer to free themselves from the mental um, agony that whatever this situation is for you is bringing them, okay? With the Knight of Cups, this is Piscean energy to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this person does want to apologize for walking away from this situation, but this person just doesn't see themselves in this situation anymore, okay? All right, AH, hopefully that helps you, okay? I just love how much you guys support each other in that comment section, okay? MG, you're next. Increase income, second job coming through. I need to move as well. That happened in this year. Okay. Spirit, show me what's going on with MG's income. We got the three of wands here, okay? So... With the higher font in the reverse, oof, that right there feels like a, um, I don't know if you walked out of a job or if someone is going to fire you impulsively, but regardless, it's gonna it's gonna be a mistake or an error on their part. And if you did this impulsively, then it was an error on your part, okay? A bit of impulse uh, impulsivity here. Okay, tell me more about this. Uh, Increased income or second job coming through for MG. Someone, someone in your space, MG, whether it's you or whatever this is, somebody needs to control their, their attitude or their anger or rage or something like that. Somebody gets mad and makes a situation worse than what it needs to be. Okay. I don't, I don't see, tell me more. I don't see an increase in your income. Yeah. I, 
I don't know who you're attached to. There's a real negative energy in your space. It's like every time you get something, that shit goes down the drain. And it's because of you have a, you got a real negative entity around you. Okay. But I don't see an increase in your income. Let's see. With the three of wands, this does represent forward progress, though. So something is going to, this also represents waiting for your ships to come in. So you may just need to have a little bit more patient. Something about impulsive energy. If you are a Sagittarius, we don't have patience to save our fucking life, okay? That is one of the biggest lessons that we can stand to learn here is to have patience. Because with that three of wands coming out first, there is a possibility that something could be coming your way. Given the song that's playing in my background, it's called Made It by Tiana Ter Taylor. Okay. Um, something could be coming for you, but it's going to require you to do your part, which is simply clear out the negative energy from your space. What are you trying to avoid? What has your intuition been telling you about um, in terms of the person you have in your space or the job you have in your space? How can you be less impulsive? Okay. Let me see. Spirit, tell me more about this move here. Tell me more about this move. Yeah, five of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. That's not good energy in terms of your finances. Tell me more about this move. Yeah, something is getting ready to come to a complete halt here. This could be a job or something. Uh, something is getting ready to come to a complete stop. Especially if you're in a relationship. Tower moment is about to uh, take off here. If you're connected to someone, that's about to come to an end. As soon as that comes to an end, your life is going to take off in a different direction. But you have to be willing to let what needs to end, end. Okay? MG, hopefully that helped you. Okay, Septina. I didn't know that there would be a lie today. Had I known, I would have been prepared. Just curious, do you have any remaining slots for the evening? Yes, I do, girl. Yes. I do have um, some spots remaining for you. For you, those of you who doesn't know what Septina is speaking on, I do have a healing of the soul session going on tonight, you guys. Registration closes at five. I do have spots available. Go ahead and go to unlimitedspirituality.com to register for that event. Um, yeah, to register for that event. This healing soul session is going to be a beautiful experience, you guys. I'm giving away t-shirts. I have one other um, offer that I'm giving away for free as well as um, free access to me throughout the duration of this month and next month in terms of your healing. Me using my gifts and mediumship, tarot reading, energy reading, and whatever else my spirit guides lays on my heart um, in terms of my gifts to use, as well as you guys bouncing off the group, a very small, intimate group. Um, to get to that, that that place of healing, okay? Which is why I will be getting off of here so soon because I've been doing so much research and so much, uh, putting so much energy towards what I want to bring for you guys in terms of healing, okay? So most certainly, um, there is some spots available, okay? So I feel like this is a great time to go ahead and re-bring up my um, giveaway options, okay? So just bear with me. I'm going to get back to the questions, okay? Um, so if you guys are interested in the giveaway, once again, thank you guys so much for this 2000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Okay. If you're interested in the giveaway, I am giving away these architect cards for the first giveaway. Okay. So you can send me an email on limited spirituality at gmail.com to tell me which one of these giveaway items you would like to get. Okay. We have here the architect cards for those of you who frequent my channel often. These are the same cards that I use for messages from spirit. Okay with the shadow attributes and the light attributes, okay? This will be a good deck for you guys to just wake up and pull from every day, especially if you are in the process of trying to do your shadow work, okay? Um, the next giveaway I have here is a Sage and Paleo Santos bundle, okay? So if you're interested in that, email me. And then after that, I have a one-hour free reading session. Then I have a 30-minute free um, reading session. And then the last offer is... If you would like to try to um, make it to tonight's healing of the soul session um, or next week's healing of the soul session, email me. And whoever emails me first about that will get a free opportunity to join us tonight, okay, or next week, whichever date works best for you, okay? All righty, guys. So let's see. Actually, let me see before I announce that. I have some emails in here. 
Okay, so let me let me scratch the healing session. I already have three emails about the healing of the soul session, so I'm choosing whichever one is first to um, get into that for free. Okay, so the free healing of the soul session is out. Okay, alrighty, guys. Let's see here. Who's next? Jasiera, you said I low key been feeling hopeless. N no, don't do that. Let me tell you why. You guys have to pay attention to the the uh, moon. Okay. It, this energy that you're feeling, it's, I'm not, how can I say this? I'm going to post another energy update tomorrow because the one, for those of you who follow along with my community board, y'all know I try to post these energy uh, um, updates every time I get the chance. And so many of you guys send me emails about how you appreciate those because they are right on time. This energy naturally makes us feel a bit, a uh, bit hopeless. Okay. And for a lot of you guys, it started from that new moon energy that we just had. Okay. This is just the time of the year that we're in the period that we're facing. So don't allow uh, the natural energy to bring down your energy. Okay. Just ride the wave. The moment you start feeling um, hopeless, you have to figure out a way to heighten your vibration here. Okay. Everybody, not everybody. A lot of people are going through DNA activations and a lot of people are just ascending right now. So that's why you're feeling a low key hopeless. Okay. So tell me why or tell me what just here can stand to know you guys um i just realized what song was playing in my background since i keep on giving shout out to songs this is an artist who watches our channel avidly okay for those of you who are unfamiliar with this music go to itunes um you can go to spotify uh amazon music wherever else there is a streaming platform and go find frankie borgito make sure you purchase the music make sure you um you know, support in any kind of way. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Give me some positive words for Jasiera. Okay. Okay. Jasiera, your grandfather just, uh, uh, just pushed through my body. I'm just like rattled my bones a little bit. Okay. So I'm hearing that you need to make better choices. You have got to make better choices and better decisions. You're being called to live your life in divinity. Uh, you already know what that is for you. We've had several conversations online, offline, whatever the case. You're being called to walk that path. So, of course, in terms of how you're feeling, it's because you're going through an activation because you're getting I'm hearing your gifts are heightening as well. But that comes with you making better decisions, better choices in living in the path that you know you should be living in. OK. All right. Septina. I too would like to know what I could be looking forward to for the next few days or even upcoming weeks ahead. Okay, let's see. All right, Spirit. Show me the next few days for Septina until Wednesday. Show me the next few days, or you said even... Or, or the upcoming week ahead. Spirit, show me from today until next Sunday. Show me from today until next Sunday for Septina's energy. Can I get seven cards? Three more cards here for Septina. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the seven of pentacles. You're going to be called to take a step back and look at all that you've invested in. OK, we know the seven of pentacles is a card of needing to have patience and really evaluate what you just invested your time, energy and or your money into, because there's a bit of a stress here. OK, um, I'm getting a bit of a uh, pessimistic energy, but I'm also seeing sporadic energy. So try not to be too impulsive. Take advantage of the natural I'm here. I'm seeing 12, 12, uh, 12, 12 is an energy portal. So you got to figure out different ways to uh, increase upon the energy. Uh, how can I say this? Like, um, it's like you have this spurt of creativity that's coursing through you that you have not taken advantage of. And you really need to take advantage of what you have not taken advantage of by taking a step back and looking at what you've actually invested into that's causing you stress here. OK, you got the six of wands in the reverse, the hangman in the reverse the seven of cups and the four of cups here. Okay. So with the six of wands in reverse, there's going to be a bit of a drop off, whether that's happened for you or not, this can even be regarding something else or someone else. But with the six of wands in reverse, 
there's a bit of a pride and ego issue here. Okay. The six of wands in reverse is also falling from grace. So there could be something that's getting ready to crumble around you so that you can become more aware of what you need to be aware of. The hangman in the reverse speaks to you being enlightened, awakened to the energy that you have in your space here, because there's a bit of confusion. There's a bit of fogginess in your space. And in order for that, for that to be removed, this has to happen first here, okay? Because we've got the Four of Cups and the Two of Wands in the reverse here. Make sure that someone is not coming into your space um, to cause this confusion, to make this offer to you and make you think that everything is going to be okay. Understand that the Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups is the Eleven of Cups, which there's no such thing. So there's the Ten of Cups and the One of Cups. So make sure someone is not coming into your space to offer some fulfillment that they cannot live up to. The, the Ace of Cups or excuse me, the um, page of cups is the smallest love offering in the deck. It even has a fish in the cup by the, the description on the card or the um, picture on the card. That means there's something that you need to be side eyeing in the situation. Use your sense of discernment for the person that's coming into your space or even the opportunity that you have getting ready to come up in your space over the next um, week. Because with the sun card in reverse, this is not going to do anything but delay your happiness, delay your fulfillment here, okay? The strength card in reverse, whatever this energy is, this could be a Leo, double energy of Leo or even Pisces here. Um, whoever, whoever this is that's coming into your space, whatever this is coming to your space, it's not going to be loyal to you. But by taking a step back and looking at what you've invested in, the lessons that you've learned here from the past, you'll see that whatever this is, it has been stressful, too much work, too much of a heavy burden. Don't allow whatever this is to come back into your space and sweet talk or manipulate you into an energy that you are trying to pass through already. OK, so that's what you have for the next week. OK. AKA Shorty while she's online. Yes. Yes. And I saw your comment. Shout out to you. You said you have an album coming out. What you said? I remember that comment. Now, just as much as I just announced that one artist, I listen, I never mind supporting you guys because of how much you support me. Clearly, we're at 2,000 subscribers. Okay. So, with that being said, like it's 222 on the clock, baby. Okay. Um, 222s are positive omens, right? Um, what'd you say? That's it. The Veil is the name of your new EP. You better let us know when that thing drops because I'll push that shit on the channel. Okay. All right, you guys, let's see here. You said that the reading really resonated. Yes. I'm so happy that it did. Okay. You said, thank you so much. Gorgeous. Most definitely gave me some clarity. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, Septina, your girl is up there, 2,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Jassiera. <laughs> yeah, that's how this energy is, man. Don't allow yourself to feel isolated, to be overcome with this energy, okay? When you start feeling like that, that means that darkness is getting ready to overcome your light because it's trying to keep you in a period of isolation. Now, be mindful because that energy could also be telling you it's time to go into hermit mode, which means to, to, to keep your energy pure from everybody else's energy around you, but not to be isolated, okay? Septina, you said, I'm praying for you. I saw the replay. I don't know what's going on, but I'm praying for you. Oh, I don't know if this is me or for Jossiera, but regardless, thank you. <laughs> um, Asia, you said, oh, shit, thanks so much. No problem. Okay, Anna Maria. So thank you, dear. I am am I on the right path? I feel a bit regretful for or that I left the Gemini, but my intuition is telling me it should happen in this way. Okay, spirit, tell me if Anna Maria is on. Tell me if Anna Maria is on the right path. Okay, I'm hearing your confidence, Anna Maria. I think this is actually something we speak to when, on Wednesdays, right? You got to figure out a way to boost your confidence. You are on the right path. You did exactly what you know you needed to do. Okay. Yes, most certainly. Somebody here was not being faithful, not being honest, very foolish. So you did exactly what you needed to do. But I'm getting a strong energy on you needing to regain that confidence. Like you are bomb as shit is the way I'm hearing it. Like, I don't think you know how amazing you are. You probably do, but you're not acting in that, that sense of amazingness. Okay. Hold on. Let me pull a different card from you for you. Y'all know this right here is my becoming my newly favorite deck here. Spiritual as fuck. So Anna Maria, let me go ahead and pull a card for you. Okay. Let me a card here for Anna Maria. Okay. 
okay? Go outside and do shit. So there's your advice. Let me read it to you, Anna Maria. It says, it's been proven all over the place that trees and nature and fresh air and all that shit helps helps to fight depression, anxiety, and addiction, and pretty much anything else that might ail you. Find some place to put your feet in the grass or the dirt or the water or anywhere that's not concrete. A five-minute nature break can reduce the amount of shitty thoughts in your brain drastically as fuck. There you go. Okay, so that's the advice that you need from your spirit guide. Okay, I'm hearing you need to work on your solar plexus chakra. Okay, that is your third chakra. No problem, A.H., I've gained five new subscribers to my YouTube channel despite not having any content on my YouTube account whatsoever. I am sus suspicious about that. Does it have anything to do with the theft? Oh, well, shit. Put your, what is, tell me what your YouTube channel is. We can get you some subscribers now. Tell me about the subscribers that just joined Septimus' channel, please. Oh, yeah. It's sleep. You were dealing with a Leo. And Aries or two, this boss energy. Yeah, these right here. This is like uh y'all, what's that called? This is um oh god, not gang stalking when people are trolling. Yeah, this is like trolling energy here. Tell me about this right here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. This is like trolling. These people here are trolling you. Okay, but I'm be honest with you. Um, Septina, the one thing we can't control as YouTubers is freaking who subscribes to our channel, okay? Fucking around with me, I'll give you a big old goddamn queen wave. I don't care about none of that shit, and you shouldn't either. Because if they're subscribing to your channel, they're not doing anything but helping your cause, okay? So let them watch you, okay? Smile and wave on that ass. Smile and wave as if you got a crown on your head, because you do. You're a queen. Um, and a goddamn sash one across your body. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel because if these people are taking enough time out of their day to try to harass you of any kind, guess what? YouTube has some of the most amazing harassment rules. The goddamn negative comments don't even make it on my channel because goddamn YouTube is already removing that shit before I even have the time to wake up and see it. Okay? So some things we just can't worry about. Okay? If nothing else, understand the way your, um, understand the way your, uh, what is that called? Um, I can't even think of the word I'm looking for here. You have to, you got to look at the way your uh, analytics look, okay? So just by people subscribing to your channel, that, push it, that pushes your channel out to multiple people, okay? So they're not doing anything but helping you every time, okay? It helps your ag algorithm. That's what I was trying to think of, okay? All right, Jawas. I'm sure I'm saying it all wrong, okay? <laughs> Invest in, in Dogecoin, babe. That income will improve over time. So there you go. For the person that just asked me about what to invest in, there you go. Okay, Septina, hey, everyone. Please remember to show our sister some love and evil energy. Yes, Septina, you guys, her name is in blue because she is my, um, she is my damn um, moderator, Okay. So, yes, you guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and like the video. If you watched the reading earlier or even if I answered a question that resonated, go ahead and like the video. Norris, how is my community? How is my community receiving me? Okay. How is it, how is Norris's community receiving? Okay. So, right now, it's like eh, half and half, right? here so the six of pentacle or excuse me the six of wow the tower card okay i was not expecting that okay um so the six of cups does speak to like uh immaturity not immaturity that's not what i'm trying to say but i did just accidentally say it so that is how someone could be seeing or, or viewing you okay but with the six of cups that's more purity that's like innocence okay with the two of pentacles it's like people are up and down about whatever this is that you are created to creatively doing here so like people are unsure of the energy that you're trying to produce okay with that tower card here it's like there might be some sort of major realization or maybe some some sort of blow up um within whatever this creative space you're in but most certainly this is like we don't know how we feel about it just yet type of energy here okay it's like we see what you're trying to do to help whatever this is 
but at the same time, people are still questioning what you're doing, okay, Norris? Excuse me, hopefully that helps you, okay? Okay, MG, you said, I don't know what the heck this is playing in my background, but it's distracting me. Okay, MG, all love made it. TT, oh yes, I, I freaking love made it by Tiana Taylor, y'all. Okay, working on patience, messages help. I gotta get rid of the negative entity. Yes, indeed, you have to. Okay, hey, Alicia. MG, about to register for this evening. Luckily to have caught this live. Yes, you guys. You guys are fucking... Listen, y'all know I curse a lot. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for registering for my event tonight, okay? You guys, I'm doing three of them this month, okay? Tonight is the first Healing of the Soul session. Um, and then the next two are in consecutive Sundays. So this Sunday, next Sunday, and the Sunday after that, all three of them are going to be themed completely differently. Um, to, today's theme is Abandoning Yourself, okay? Okay. Uh, using the theme song um, by Rolls Royce. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Except we're turning it on ourselves here, okay? All right, you guys. If that is something that you guys are interested in participating in, I have no idea how many spots we have, but um, it will come up automatically if it's booked up. Trying to check on it for you guys, but my shit is going kind of slow. Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. I'm trying to check on the event. So I believe I have. Okay, it's only showing me. It's loading so slow. I think that I'm giving away from free um, including free act look at this your connection is unstable um, including having free access to me throughout the duration of uh, this month and next okay all right you guys let's see here what else do we have Alicia None of my concern anymore. Alicia had to quit working for my cousin. Was total waste of time. What's next? Rest or go full steam with channel? Hell, I say go full steam. You are in the perfect energy to operate in um, a creative space. That's my song right there. Okay, Spirit, please tell me what's next for Alicia. Freeing yourself from the toxicity. That's exactly what you did. That's beautiful. Tell me if this channel is, 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 is it time for Alicia to go towards this channel? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Literally, go for it. With the seven of swords, make sure you don't have anybody around you that's getting ready to steal your opportunity. I'm specifically hearing, stop telling people your ideas. Okay, and if you don't tell anybody your ideas and you write your shit down, make sure you're guarding whatever it is that you're writing it down in because somebody's going to try and steal your entire your entire uh, fucking playbook, your entire idea of whatever creative uh, avenue that you're trying to do. Someone's trying to take that from you. Could be a Scorpio, could be an Aquarius, could be a Leo, could be a Virgo. Okay, tell me what else Alicia needs to do here. Okay. Yeah. See, somebody here is lying about some some sort of fucking finances. Be my. You said what? You had to quit working for your cousin. Somebody owe you some money. Just period. What is this? Yeah. You were being cheated out of money or something. Yep. Justice art in the reverse. Look at your pay stubs. Something. Okay, this person here was was uh, uh, cheating you out of your money, okay? Could have been paying you less than what you deserved even, right? All right, let me scroll down to the bottom here. Okay, Septina, will you do me a favor and put um, no more questions in the chat for me? Me too. I hate to hear that type of shit too, y'all. I really can't stand it. Like, listen, I can't even hold you like, 
I can't even lie and say I never stole nothing before a day in my life because shit, I went through a stage in my life. Hell, middle school was rough for your girl, okay? But the moment, listen, y'all, it didn't take me too long to learn that lesson there because I don't know anybody else's mom, but my mom, she pulled up on the scene crazy as shit, okay? So when it comes down to that stealing shit, it only took me one time to fucking learn. I can't understand in our grown age why you can see me working hard at something and you can just take that shit from me. Boy, that shit there is irritating to me. But you just got to live with that type of energy because not everybody thinks or acts or sees things the way you do, okay? Thank you, Septina. All right, let's see. So those of you who knows that I do my free questions, when I, when I get to the last question, I always go from the bottom and work my way back up to where I just left from. So just give it a moment if you feel like I've passed you what happened, okay? Okay, let's see here. There's been a collect message of filling your own cup. Amen. Please learn to fill your own cup. Please learn to fill your own cup and stop over pouring your cup. Stop pouring your cup out to people who don't deserve your fucking energy. Stop giving, giving, giving to people who are taking, taking, taking and not giving in return. And what that means. Okay. All right. Let's see who else we have here. Yes, they're getting readings and all. Yeah, now that's been a heavy energy in my readings lately. There are people getting readings on you guys, okay? So just because you guys are coming to me or any other reader for, for like genuine healing, for answers to what to do next, there are people that you guys have to realize, there are people that get uh, readings on you for negative, okay? Well, what's the, what's the tea with this person and all this other type of shit? Keep your energy pure. Keep your energy safe. And if you are a healer, if you are a reader, please look up spells to keep your energy safe and out of the hands of other readers, okay? That is a thing. You can only allow readers to access what you want them to access, okay? Norris, very interesting to know. Yes, indeed. Yes. Let them watch and realize how less it affects you. Amen. I have a stelium. What? Oh, okay. Three planets in one house. Yeah, okay. In the eighth house. So I know that house is about. Yes, 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 yes. My granddaddy was just in my dream last night. I'm trying my best to be positive, but I just feel like everything is ruined going forward. No. Jossiera, I'm about to break you out of this energy. You already know how I feel about that. If it was up to me, would nobody be on this damn sad type of energy or anything like this hopelessness? That hopelessness has to go. Because whenever we start feeling hopeless, whenever we start feeling, man, like the world is crashing down before our eyes, we have to understand that that is positive change being inflicted in our life for a reason. I always give this analogy, you guys. I always give this analogy. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, if I take this debt, right, we're going to say, I have, for those of you who don't know, I have a three-year-old son. If he comes in here, my mommy, and picks up my deck and says, let's play 52 card pickup and throws my cards all over the fucking place, right? And I have to go through the trouble of picking them damn cards up. Lord knows it's a thousand of these damn cards. And I got to pick them all up. They're not in the same order that they once were after I've already shuffled and blessed my cards or whatever the case, but I still got to pick them cards up. The destruction that happens in our life is so that everything can be placed in the way that it's supposed to be placed. Now, that's not to say that the Lord sent my child in here to destruct my cards, but when I pick those cards up off the ground, you have to be you bet your bottom fucking dollar that the cards are going to be placed exactly in the order that they need to be placed. Give me Josh Garrett's energy here. See, didn't we just pull this for you? Didn't we just pull that death card for you? So it doesn't matter what type of destruction that we have in your space or that you have going on in your space. You have to understand that change is always going to occur, which is the true meaning behind the death card. Change is going to occur for you, okay? So this energy here that you are waiting on, it will come, but it will only come in time, okay? So you got to break out of that energy of hopelessness and sad and understand that the destruction that's falling around uh, uh, falling uh, um, falling down around you is not anything but to get you into a better space in life, okay? All right, let's see. And you know when he shows up in your dream, that you really needed to, you really need to get the message, okay? Thank you, Alicia.
had to quit working for my cousin. Okay, yeah. Okay, you guys. I just had to read up. Okay, so that is all of the questions that I'm doing, you guys. Let me go over the giveaway items one more time, and then I'm going to let you guys go, okay? So for the very first giveaway, for those of you who are interested, thank you so much for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. You guys are fucking amazing. I cannot even begin to tell you, okay? So with that being said, I'm doing a complete giveaway for 2,000 subscribers. I did it when I hit 1,000. I did it when I hit 500. I did it when I hit 1,500, okay? So here we are, 2,000, okay? MG, please share the link for tonight. Go to unlimitedspirituality.com. Who's in here? Septina. Will you please put that in there? Um, unlimitedspirituality.com is how you can register, register for tonight's event, okay? If by the time you go over there and it is the spaces are completely filled, do not panic. I have two more happening this month, next Sunday and the Sunday after next, okay? Um, the registration for next Sunday, I've been announcing in all my other videos, the registration for next Sunday or this coming Sunday is going to be open tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, I'm only opening up six spots for each reading because it is or for each session because it's meant to be an intimate group healing session. OK, thank you so much, Septina, for doing that. Let me go ahead and pin it. Actually, um, if you have enough word count. Uh, Septina, I'm so sorry to make you be working, baby. Do you mind putting in there uh, for for group healing session, register here, okay? Okay, so for the first giveaway, I am giving away these architect cards, okay? These are my deck. You will get a brand new deck, okay? So your deck will be in plastic, brand spanking new, okay? For those of you who frequent my channel, this is the uh, the deck that I use for messages from spirit, okay? With the light attributes and the negative attributes here, okay? So this is a good deck for you guys to pull on the day-to-day -day basis, especially if you are serious about your own shadow work, especially if you are serious about your own healing. It can't nobody call you out like you can call you out, okay? So by simply just pulling one of these cards every day, no matter if they're in the light or the shadow attribute, you have something to learn. So if this is a deck that you guys would like to request in terms of this giveaway, email me, okay? I have here this sage bundle that I'm also giving away, okay? Big, long, <laughs> pause, white, uh, sage stick. I just realized how I said that and I'm immature for even laughing. But anyway, so I do have this um, sage stick here. This is the white sage stick with the red sage stick with the two paleo santos here, um, as well as a one hour free reading. And then I'm also doing a 30 minute free reading as well as, um, oh, that's it, because I was giving away a free spot into tonight's healing of the soul session, but that has already been given away, okay? So if you're interested in any of those four options, you know what, Jossie, I just knew your ass was gonna catch it. If you guys are interested in any of those four giveaway items, email email me at unlimitedspirituality at gmail.com. If you guys would like to register for the healing session, go to unlimitedspirituality.com, okay? Um, Septina just placed it in the chat, and I just pinned it in the chat, okay? If by the time you go over to the website and um, all of the slots for tonight's uh, healing of the soul session is filled, then just give it until tomorrow, 8 a.m. 8 AM Eastern Standard Time. Next Sunday's Soul Session um, registration will be open, okay? Once again, this Soul Session is going to come with a free T-shirt, as well as one other free item that I am giving away to the group, um, as well as having access to me on a sale number, access to me um, for the duration of this month and next month, okay? But, Cindy, for tonight's session, we need a link to show up. Yeah. So when you register for the event, it's just like for those of you who have gotten um, readings for me on the website, when you register for the event, it automatically sends you a link. OK, it's an automatic thing. You register for the, the you register for the event and it automatically sends you a link. If you don't see the link in your inbox. Make sure to check in your, um, I know sometimes with my personal readings, these links have been going over to people's spam box as well, okay? Um, 
but most certainly a link is automatically going to be sent to you, okay? Now, if by the time 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time comes and you have not gotten a link after you've registered, email me right away. I will have my email up all day today. Email me right away and tell me that the link for you has not showed up and I will just rewire you the link, okay? All right, you guys. So for those of you that will be on the Soul Session tonight, you guys make sure to bring pencil and paper. You said I don't have a link at all. Maybe it's delayed. Give me one second, Septina. When I hop off of live here, um, I'll look into that. And then I'll definitely just email you personally with that link, okay? Um, I'll probably do that with everybody that has signed up, just in case. But for those of you who are coming to tonight's section, session, make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you're coming comfortable and open to be able to speak on the things that needs to be spoken on. Um, make sure you guys bring a pencil and paper because this is something that we're going to learn and grow from. So taking copious notes can't hurt anybody, okay? All right, you guys, so I will see you tonight. And for everybody else, I will see you for messages for Monday coming up on Tuesday. Thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. Oh, one more thing. For those of you who are new to my channel on Wednesdays, a lot of you guys in the chat already know. But on Wednesdays, I do do um, my messages from spirit live with my Sagittarius Collective, but it has become everybody's collective because um, it's not just Sagittarius in there. Um, and at the end of that video, I always offer free questions to which I stay on for about an hour and a half to two hours, answering nothing but questions after that hour reading that I do give. Okay. So if you're interested in that, I will see you on Wednesday. All right. Thank you guys so much. I will see you on the next video. Bye. You're going to register for next Sunday. Jossie, are you said, okay. Um, the link will be available tomorrow. Okay. All right, you guys see you later. Bye.